Hello and welcome to the second part in this video series on upgrading system platform components to version 2014. In this video we'll be focusing on upgrading the application object servers from system platform 2012 R2 to version 2014. This will essentially be performed in one step on the system. We're going to upgrade the, uh, the object server just running the setup file. Now the key point is if you have redundant application object servers then it has to be done in pairs. With that let's begin. Now to begin as with the GR node we'll be working in a virtual environment using VMware's ESXi virtualization host server. Here I have my two object servers and they are in a redundant configuration. I'll start with the first server. And perform the upgrade and I'll start the upgrade process. And then I'll move on to the secondary server. Now once you have backed up your system, you backed up your galaxy successfully, and you have exported all of your objects, then you are ready to perform the upgrades to the object servers. And this also assumes that you have also you've already upgraded the Galaxy repository node. Now once you've placed the CD-ROM in the drive, you'll be presented with the autoplay dialog. If you don't, just simply uh, open up Windows Explorer, navigate to your, your CD-ROM drive, and run the setup file. This will begin the setup process. We'll install some prerequisites. Now, depending on how fast your system is, this may take a little while or it may take a little longer. Now you can do this in pairs, or you should do it in pairs. Now I'm going to start the same process on the secondary server while those prereqs are being installed. I've inserted my CD-ROM. I'm presented with the autoplay, and then I'll run the setup file. Now this can be done in tandem. I'll install the prerequisites and I'll go back to my primary check on the status it's still um, installing in this case it's installing Microsoft.NET Framework version 4.5 okay once the installation of the prerequisites have completed successfully uh, we can move on to the next uh, part of the uh, upgrade we get the informational message saying that this particular product is going to be upgraded to the next version or the latest version and we click on OK And again, we can do this in tandem uh, with the uh, redundant uh, pair. We scroll down and verify that this indeed is what we're, is going to be upgraded. In this case, is just the application server bootstrap and the license manager. We click on next. And it'll go through the uh, upgrade process. We see that the uh, Microsoft uh, C++ redistributable is a, another prereq that needs to be installed. We click on install prerequisite and it will go through that process. And we see on our backup server it's, uh, we're uh, able to pr proceed. And 
It begins the same informational message. We again verify that we're going to upgrade the bootstrap and the license manager. We'll click on next. Install the prereq. And that begins that process. We see that the prerequisite has been met. We click on next. We verify that these are the items that going that's going to be upgraded and we click on upgrade. And that begins that upgrade process. We can go back to our primary. We see that that our again our prerequisite has been met on the primary system. We click on next verify that these are the items that will be upgraded and click on upgrade. So at this point we're upgrading both of our application object servers in pairs. Now depending on how fast our system, systems are it may take a little bit or it may, a little bit of, it may take a little bit of time. Now once the process is complete we can verify that on both of our systems that the upgrade process was successful because we get the uh, completed dialog box here and we click on finish. It'll do some cleanup work. and we reboot the server and we also do that on our other system or on our partner node click on finish it'll also go through some cleanup work and we reboot the system This concludes upgrading the application object servers in redundant pairs to system platform version 2014. Thanks for watching.